Hello everyone and welcome back to my tutorial. And today we will create, we will start to create the new building. Yes, finally, I will show you the one new building and new idea. As you know, I really in love in Japanese architecture. So here the new building, what we will start to create today. Uh, as you can see, uh, the form is pretty simple, but uh, you know the Japanese, it looks simple, but to realize that, it's really hard. Uh, as you can see here, the nothing special, just the uh, just like three forms, different forms, and it's increasing uh, all the way. So I think enough talking, and let's start from the form. As you can see, I already uh, have here the form. Uh, I just did it to show you how we, uh, what we will get today. So th this is just a preview, uh, but we will start from the zero. So I will close this project and I will open new one. Let's uh, open new one and I will open the conceptual mess. So for this project now we need conceptual mess. We will start from that 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 stage. So now we are in the blank project, just few seconds, a conceptual mesh still opening. So here we are. Uh, so as you can see, this is blank project, nothing here. And we will start from the first level. Uh, so what we're gonna do now, uh, I need to create some uh, reference plane. Uh, let's create the reference plane. Uh, I will create the first one. Uh, let's make it uh, more correct, like three meters and half like this mm, is it okay i think okay so we will leave two meters and half and i will increase about this line after that i will name it like line one line one and that's it uh, so till now we already finished okay i'm kidding no uh, now what we're gonna do mm, now we should go to the 3d let's go back to 3d as you can see uh, here is our plane let's i will increase our plane and now uh, we will go to the front view, the model one. It doesn't matter, its line is here, it doesn't matter. Uh, and let's choose the reference plane line one. Let's go back here and let's draw our, our building. Uh, okay, so on the left side, I need like, uh, let's say the building will be seven meter, right? So three and a half here. Uh, the five meters will be our height and 45 degree maybe not 45 let's make like uh, 45 degree uh, like this okay and now I'll just mirror it so select that and with our mirror mirror is here and mirror it like this so as you can see, now this is a unique form, solid form, and this is what I want. Uh, let's go back now to the level one, and now we will select everything what you can see here, and let's copy it. Uh, don't forget, copy, multiply, and constrain. And let's copy it, one, two, three, four, five. Wait, I will, one, two, three. Okay, that's cool. So this is what I want. Let's check it out. So it looks like this. So this is cool. Uh, after that, what we're gonna do? Select the last one. Uh, go to the rotate. Uh, copy. And let's make the center on the different side here. Or you can just make the place like this. And let's make 45 degree. 45 degree is here. And let's do it again. Everything same, copy, place, here, and again 45 degree. Okay, so and just continue as we did before. 3.5, 3.5, 3.5, so one, two, two more, and one more. Okay, done. So let's go to 3D and let's check what we get. We get something like this one. So it's not bad. Uh, actually, I did it too close. I did like 3.5 meter between them. But um, this is not so pro no, not, not problem for us. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? 
Now we need prepare prepare size. Uh, as you can see on this picture, uh, the first uh, first um, portal it's uh, smaller, lowest than uh, last one. So let's do the same thing. Uh, first, what I'm gonna do, I will do this thing like this. Okay, now I will use uh, a line and don't forget multiplying a line and let's align everything what you can see here sorry this one to this one to this one to this one and this one okay awesome uh and now what i'm gonna do i just select to uh, i will select uh, to this uh, these two lines i will just use the move and 400 millimeters let's continue li like this here i will do 800 millimeters and on and on again move 1200 this two move uh, 1600 and last one 2000 2000 like this okay uh, let's do the same thing here. First, what I'm gonna do, I'll make it smaller like this. Let's make it a bit different, maybe a bit lower like this. Uh, let's use again a line. Don't forget the multiplier line. Uh, choose your line and after that change the other lines. Okay, like this. So, now again we will continue with the same thing. Uh, select two lines, move and 400 millimeters first. After that again, plus 400 millimeters, so it means 800 millimeters and on and on. So here 800 millimeters, here 1200 millimeters, 1600 millimeters, And last one, 2000 millimeters. Okay, awesome. And last one, we get uh, here the also the some angle one. Let's make it just 2000 millimeters. Okay. So, and I will do this part a bit smaller like this not so much just approximately anyway we can use the uh, again a line for example for this dot to this dot where is the our dot it's not here i will use a line like this why not uh, okay uh this part already finished and now we will start with the messing okay let's do it uh just select two of them for example, oh, one line and second line and create the mess. And just continue this, this mess, this and this, and again mess. And continue with uh, the other part too. Like this. Okay, so and now we will do like this. And like this, separate. So what I mean separate? Uh, as you can see now, I'm, I was separating. Uh, I select one profile and second profile. After that, second profile and third profile, and we get shape like this. If you will see on the picture, if you will see on the picture, you can see the here the profile something like this. But if you not will do like this, uh, I mean, if you will uh, choose three of them uh, in one time, you will get the strange result. I will show you now. Uh, you will get the norms result, so it's mean curve. I will I will do. You will get the curve. Yeah, this is interesting form, but I not I don't wanna use now this uh, curve form. If you want, you can use this uh, style. So if you are using the tree uh, profile in one time, uh, if it's rotating, you will get some uh, curve result. So let's use separate uh, first profile and second profile and create the form. And here the same the thing, one profile and second profile and create the form. So we get the angle one. 
Okay, so you will ask what about the between? Uh, what 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 about uh, in this part? So I will say I will tell you this is really pretty easy. Uh, so what we're gonna do? Let's go to the set uh, our working plane. I will set this working plane, and after that uh, I will use the uh, pick lines, and let's pick the lines here, like this. After that, I will going to the um, offset. Let's find our offset here. And numerical, 400 millimeters, and do not copy it. And let's make it like this. Okay. Now using TR to trim lines, you can see. So everything okay, and we get the new profile. Let's create the shape. As you can see, it's really cool. So I will extrude this one like this. And this is not I want. Let's go back to the our lines. I will choose this line and I will extrude this line like this. Let's check it out. Yes, this is what I want. Actually, this lines, this line it here. Mm -hmm. Let's check more. Yeah. So we get our form. Let's go to the create the form. Let's use the align to this part, this part. Done. So as you can see, we get first our shape. So let's continue with other part. Let's do the same thing. Again, set your working plane. After that, go to the uh, pick the line. Use the tab. After that, let's go to the offset and do the same thing like this, like this, and like this. And uh, let's create the same thing like this and just a bit, a bit more. Let's, let's root a bit more. I will use again a line here. Not not for this line, for that line. Okay. And uh, yes, I did I did it a bit more. And let's make uh, the create the form. As you can see, we create the new form. Okay. As you can see, uh, the result is really cool. So uh, let's do the same thing here, but uh, we will do a bit more, mm, how to say, uh, some unique design, not like in the picture. Uh, let's create uh, the lines. So first the select uh, the working plane, after that lines, like this. And let's make, as I said, unique design. Let's say we will do something like that one, that one. Okay, and we will extrude on the other side. Why not? Like this. Yeah, and I will leave on this type. Let's go back. Now I will use a line, a line to this part. I say this part to this part. So we have a line. As you can see, this is really aligned. And let's make the same thing here. Again, set your work plane, uh, use the pick line, use the tab, use the offset. I will use offset here, I will not use in this part, and I will extrude in this side. Let's choose the our profile, and let's create the form. I will use a line, and a line to this part. So, as you can see, in few minutes, we get some interesting form. Of course, it's not, I'm not trying to copy this one. I just want to uh, make the, uh, something like this one. I already have the copy. If you want, you can download it uh, below this video or go to the Patreon and there you will find all the my uh, all the my models. So, and uh, we already under finish, under finish with mess. And the next movie we will continue and we will create building. Uh, so, I think it was useful for you how to create the mess form, uh, how to load it uh, into the project. So, it's really easy, I will show you. Just create a new project, doesn't matter which template are you using. If you want to get the my template, uh, find the uh, my giveaway video and there you will find free template. 
So here the mm, my model load inside the project and here the new project free. Let's load it inside the project. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, Revit saying like uh, the forms it's not activating. So in the under meshing side it's not was activating. Now it's activate. And uh, here is my form. Now we can create the walls, windows and whatever. So thank you guys for watching. I think, I hope you find it uh, useful. Uh, and we will continue in the next video. See you next time. And that's it from today. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time. To support my channel you can go to Gumroad, check that my store, there you can find bottle of this dynamo script or you can buy two story complete house or even the two story residential classic house. By this way you supporting my channel and you making me happy to creating the new videos for you guys. If you still want to support my channel but you don't have enough money you can go to the Patreon and only for the one dollar you can support my channel too. You will make me happy too and you can pay seven dollars and you can get all the bottles for every month what I'm posted there.